Morbid Icons. What's up, people? We back. How y'all feeling out there? Me? I'm all right. Today we got on the table Michael Myers from Halloween 2 by Trick or Treat Studios. One six scale figure. You know, horror classic Halloween, that type of stuff. This is the box. That's the front. That's your side. That's the back with an image of Michael Myers on it. And that's your other side. That's your top. And that is your bottom. All right, you got your window where you can see Michael through it. You see all his accessories, everything he comes with, but let's get him out the box. Check it out. All right, here's Mike out the box. First impression, it's not a Hot Toys. Yeah, I don't even know if it's Sideshow. It's more like 3-0, six scale quality. I mean, the suit, his jumpsuit, it looks, it looks, you know, the color is fine. The weathering is cool. Got some bullet holes in it. It just don't have that, like, like that high-end tailoring that you get with, like, hot toys. This is my first trick-or-treat studios figure, so I don't know anything about the uh, company. But this, this is kind of like a... 3-0 quality 6 scale figure. You get some accessories with this thing. You get a secondary head scope, Michael Myers scope with the blood running down the face. And it's actually not that bad. This hairdo is killing me though, man. Like what the hell kind of hairdo is this? I mean, this scope did cool and all, but damn, Mike look whooped. Then you can see the eyes in there. Yeah, it's not a bad looking scope. The blood looks nice and glossy and red. Not bad. Then there's your connection point right there. You can't barely see it, but it's right there. But yeah, not bad. You get this pumpkin head, which is not a head scope, it's just a pumpkin. I went to open it and I did that and snapped something loose, didn't realize that it was a uh piece that was holding it together so I've already messed something up and it's so small that the camera won't even focus on it it's meant to plug in right here so this part plugs in under here and I just like pull thinking it just will open up because I seen this on the back so I'm like oh it opens up it didn't come with instructions so hey I didn't know I just was like okay it opens so let me open it and bam snapped it this one is still connected on this side so but you can like pull it loose. You got to kind of ease it up and I don't want to break the other one. And then you get the full skull in there. Let me put this back. But that's not bad though. Nice looking uh, pumpkin head. Pretty cool. I wish it was actually a scope that you could put on them. <laughs> that's what I thought it was when I bought the, uh, bought the figure. Thought it was gonna be something like what's on the box, but nah, it's just a, it's just a prop, which is cool. All right, let's get to the other accessories, the smaller stuff, and let me throw this back inside of here, cause even though it's broke, I don't want to lose it. All right, you get a hammer. Not bad. They should have weathered it though. You know, gave it a little weathering. May look a little bit more realistic, but it's cool. You get a knife with some blood on it. And it is plastic, which I'm fine with that. I don't need metal. I think this is my first 1-6 scale syringe. Does it work? Yes, it does. You get a 1-6 scale syringe. That is wild. And it works. It's a functioning syringe poke somebody and it probably really pokes yeah that pokes yeah <laughs> this is wild 
My first one city scale syringe. All righty. Then you get a few hands. You get this hand right here. Not bad. You can see the veins. So nice job on that. Get another one. Almost similar to the one I just had. It's slightly different. But again, you can see the paintwork, the veins. Yeah. Not bad. You get another hand with the scalpel already in it. And I do believe this is my first one C scale scalpel also. So yeah, not bad. All right. And you get another hand for holding the hammer. So nice little gripping hand. I don't know if I should have been expecting more. Like I haven't seen Halloween two in forever in ages. Should he have like a hatchet, machete, something? Or is that all he used in the movie? I know that's not all he used because Michael's a brutal murderer. But that's all you get with this figure. So you want anything extra outside of that, you're going to have to go on eBay or somewhere and pick it up because he don't come with nothing. No, no like monster sized weapons. What you see is what you get. All right, so here's a head scope that comes on the body up close. As you can see, it's not, it's not that bad looking. I mean, it looks like a damn mask. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, isn't this mask supposed to be William Shatner? You know, Captain Kirk. <laughs> it looks like a real bad mask of him. So they achieve what they needed to achieve, I guess. You got the little spots painted on there some weathering it's not that bad you can see his eyes they look menacing see so yeah, it's, it's not that bad I mean again it's not hot toys quality but for the price that you pay you shouldn't be expecting hot toys quality again this is probably on the level with like three zero maybe a little bit below side show I know people be hating on Sideshow, but Sideshow be putting out some good products every now and then. Now this suit is like a, a green, but it's coming through darker in my camera than it actually is. Probably have to play with the white balance a little bit, but yeah, it's actually greener than what it is through my camera. But you can see the weathering the bullet holes from being shot. So that's pretty cool weathering in the back as well. You got this zipper. I don't like the zipper. It just looks like an oversized doll zipper. I, I don't like that. They could have went with something smaller. It kind of takes away from the look. Let's dip this down a little bit and see what they got under here. Just a plain black shirt looks like it. Yeah, so, but yeah, I kind of don't like this zipper. Buttons not too bad. Those are real buttons, but nothing to button up to, which is fine. Let's get that back up. But yeah, and these are the other hands that come on the figure. So, not bad, not bad at all. I'm not the biggest Halloween Michael Myers person. Like I watch the movies, but I'm not like a, a fanatic over this character. Honestly, I only picked it up because I was in a horror type of mood and I was in FYE looking at horror figures. And I picked up a Michael Myers um, and bought it. And then I went back to the store. I was picking up some more characters. Then I decided I, I, I just can't get into 
the scale like that. And the only time, and I've said this before, I buy smaller scale figures for the most part is when I can't get it in my desired scale, which is like one six, one nine, the bigger scales. I'm not really a fan of 112, 110 really either, you know. So I had all these figures and I'm like, why am I buying all these things? I ain't even opened them up. I got a bunch of them. I ain't even opened them. I'm like, why am I getting these? I want to do, I had a horror section in my collection before and I sold like half of the stuff. And I was like, man, I think I'm gonna put my horror section back in. Forget these NECA figures. Cause they look like, I, I, I'm not a fan of how they look. It's, you can, it just, the look snatches the, 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 the realism away from me. And I'm like, I'm not buying all these things. And then I look up on the top shelf and I'm giving y'all this long ass story, which y'all didn't ask for, but you know how I do, I tell stories. I look up on the shelf and FYE, you know, they got all this, this big sales going on and all this other stuff, right? Which I remember I got to cancel my little discount card. Anyway, and I seen these on the top shelf. They had part one, part two, and then they had the cop who I believe was in also part one. And I said, let me just check this out. And I opened up the, the you know, the, the box to see the window to see in it. And I was like, oh, this ain't, this ain't that bad. Then I seen the price. I'm like, well, hell, I might as well pick this up. So the NECA one that I got is going back to the store. Like I said, I ain't even open it. I'm just going to stick with my guns. If it's, if it's something that I can get in one six scale, I'm just going to go ahead and get it in one six scale and call it a day because I know I'm not going to be satisfied if I get it in a smaller scale. Anyway, back to the figure, right? So let's look at the uh, articulation. Head can turn. You get that much down. Not a lot back, but you can like do them like that to get them back. But you, you know, that's that's using that uh that ab joint, which you can get them like that far forward. Rotation, arms can go up. Let's see if he has a double elbow. He does have a double elbow. Bicep rotation. Let's see what else he's working with. I did the waist rotation already. Does he have a side to side? Ah, not really. Get the leg up that high before you start seeing skin. You can't get them both out about that far before you start seeing skin. They probably could have made the jumpsuit pants just a little longer. Thigh rotation, double knee bend. Uh. You got a bit of a rock on the feet because there's plenty of play between the boot and the leg. So that gives you enough room to get a little bit of a rock in there. Up, down. So the articulation actually ain't that bad. That's pretty solid articulation for this figure. It's just a matter of uh, getting them in a pose that you like to see William Shatner in. <laughs> All right, so, I right, stand up. So that's it for Michael Myers, Halloween part two, figure by Trick or Treat Studios. For the price point, it's a solid release. Hate they didn't give us a base, but <laughs> I just thought about it. 3-0 do the same thing. At the price point, they don't give you a base either. So I guess that's just what you get when you pay under like 150 for a figure. They just ain't giving you no bases or none of that type. So they're like, man, you getting the figure, deal with it. At least Sideshow with they cheap ass to give you just an all black crotch grabber base, which it's just slightly better than nothing at all because those things are just atrocious also because it's just some old plain black base like just 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 a waste but at least you get it uh suit is cool again it's not hot toys but i'm not expecting hot toys for the price i'm not a fan of the uh zipper a little too big for my taste 
I would remove it if I didn't think I was gonna ever unzip the thing, the top, and show off the black shirt. So I'm not gonna mess with it, but I don't like it. Head scope is fine. Both head scopes. I like the one with the blood running down the eyes. That's probably the one I'm gonna end up using. Matter of fact, let me swap it out while I'm doing this video. Let's see. And the whole damn ball joint came out. I hate when that happens. And I don't feel like fighting with this thing, so it'll just end up being in my, uh, what I'll do is I'll, if I get it off, I'll shoot some video with the other head scope on him. But for now, this is what we're working with. Anyway, I talked enough. It's a solid uh, release for the price point. If you're, in the, uh, if you're in the market for Michael Myers, Trick or Treat Part 2, not bad at all. I picked this one up because it seemed like it had more accessories than Part 1 did. So that's the only reason I picked this one instead of that one. But uh, I get up with y'all at the next video. I almost forgot to show them with a couple other horror figures that I own. So here you go. Enjoy. And now I'm really out of here. So I get up with y'all at the next video. All right, I'm out.